Islam, love Ibn Allah Bay, natural, born American, no Moorish American yeah. national, I'm a Kadir Al-Aqsa. You guys, I really we have an unlawful really home invasion going on sure at the estate of Khalid Bay. Excuse me, sir, but what in the doohickey are you talking about? This is not a home invasion. This is an eviction. This is the result of you fools listening to Light to Jerry Bay and Taj Tariq Bay when they told you fools to cancel all corporate contracts. This is the result of that. This is simply an eviction for not paying your bills. The policy and force is present. All right. See them here. All right. They're present. All right. Got unlawful movers. Everybody that's contracted with the corporation. So these things must be put on public notice and public view for public scrutiny so that we can see as United States Corporation has been dissolved and still see that they're functioning. Look, they're still here. They're still functioning. Right? They're causing unlawful home invasion. This guy is fucking stupid! <laughs> Uh, they're part of a, you guys are part of like an organization, right, sir? Or some type of, um, it's like a... Hmm? We're the most divine and national movement of the world. We're the true heirs of parent, all right? We're the mothers and fathers of civilization. It's not an organization, it's a way of life, it's our culture, all right? This is what it is. This is what's coming back, all right? The old time religion, all right? The true heirs of... It's the true heirs of parent. All right. These are all de facto claims. Morocco, right here. That's right. Morocco, Madrid Al Aqsa. We're right here in Morocco. That's been connotative called what? New York City, right? United States Corporation, which corporation has nothing to do with the people. Because in the preamble of the Constitution, it states that we, the people, do ordain and establish the Constitution for the United States, right? So if we're the people and we establish the Constitution, which is the supreme law of the land, and also the treaties that's binding, I know that the heir has pointed out to them Article 20 in the Treaty of Peace and Friendship, all right, to where is that they're not supposed to be violating the rights and also the policy enforces or the Sharif is supposed to be supporting the heir of power. But unfortunately, we know how they do. They're always going to come out like this. And you see, they're not even true heirs, they're foreigners. Look around. They're foreigners with contracts. And you know, all we're going to lean on all of them. Yeah, it's all right. You see, they're all foreigners, all right? Everybody that's here that's doing business in the state of New York are under contract, right? And they must be naturalized citizens, all right? See, they don't know that we're going to take every one of them through these channels. All right, of proving that their nationality, prove that they're under bond because they could cause us injury. Look at the injury that they're causing us. They're public servants. Let's not give them too much authority. All right, let's not give them too much authority because they don't have. They don't. This is assumed. All right, it looks like they're doing something. They got to make it look good. All right, this is the face that they're revealing to us right now. But in reality, at the end of the day, the air will be back present. Why? Because he made a reversion every claim. This Morris sovereign citizen is in the middle of an eviction, and he is just spewing nothing but absolute Morris nonsense. It is very amusing that nobody there is listening to him. He's just rambling and rambling and rambling. And I'm sorry, sir, but your fake revisionist history and your Morris science are not going to reverse this eviction. How about paying your bills and stop listening to people like Light to Jerry Bay and you wouldn't be in this position in the first place. All right. So since they have their policy enforcers and their crew out here, all of them is under oath. All of them is under obligation. And all of them will be lame, sued, and prosecuted according to the jour law. Not 
uh, connotative linguistics inside of their Supreme Courts, no, inside of the Counselor Court, inside of the Counselor Jurisdiction, all right? Because I am Love Ibn Allah Bey, Counselor General for Morocco Counselor Jurisdiction at New York Republica. All right. So these are the first things. These are the steps right now for us to really know to prove ourselves competent and worthy to receive the airship rights. Right. Because these mortgages, these deeds are all color of law. They're color of authority. They have nothing to do with the rights of the heirs. This is how they steal your rights through these mortgages. When you do the etymological research and determination of the word mortgage, it means dead pledge. All right. More. The root word of mortgage is more, which is more. That's dead. The pledge is the people that take on the spell that they have presented to them within inside of that pledge. All right. So we have to be mindful of what we're dealing with. See, connotative linguistics is what's ruling the world today. All right. That's what not denotes a thing because our ancestors did not leave us in control of these hybrid Europeans. You see, these are all foreigners. All right, so upon command and upon challenge through documentation, they have to prove it. They have to prove that they have the authority to do what they're doing. All right, this is the process, and people are being injured to this. All right, so people are definitely being injured. All the time. Yeah, I was just saying, you look familiar. I was just saying, when I scan, I always tell you the cops. Excuse me, thank you so much. See this? Flying our colors, our flags, the rid of Kuala Warmato, right, which challenges the jurisdiction of all public servants. Excuse me, sir, but why are you waving that worthless paperwork around in the middle of this eviction if your paperwork actually worked then the police and the marshals would instantly stop this eviction turn around and walk away but they're not doing that because your moorish paperwork is worthless i don't understand how you can't in this very moment, figure that out. You're waving this paper around. You showed it to everybody on the scene and nobody is taking you seriously. You're still getting evicted. Wake up. This is, this is, you know, this is called home invasion. Wrong. It's not an eviction because you can't evict an heir off his own estate. This is a home invasion, right? Wrong. Are you stupid or something? So now once it comes to a home invasion, and, 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 and the law states that, right, this is stare decisis. A state cannot refuse to give foreign nationals their treaty rights because of fear that valid international agreements may possibly not work completely to the satisfaction of state authorities. Under the Supremacy Clause of the United States Constitution, Article 4, Clause 2, states' policies as to the rights of aliens to inherit must give way to overriding federal treaties and conflicting arrangements. All right? That's the case law, Coastal Voters versus Oregon. All right? So with that case law being stated right there, right? Now, these are overriding policies and statutes that they're doing right now. Now, the, the state of deceased's law just told you, all right, that the state is supposed to give way to overriding treaty and conflicting arrangements. But you see what the state does, right? The state of, you see, because they take everybody as being property. So when you're talking about the state and the state of, you're talking about the mind state of the people. So when you say that you live in New York City or you live inside of these different places, automatically that's assumed he's jurisdiction. Some, how, if he's doing his own thing, how am I do it? That's assumed authority. You see? So you have to, you know, do the name correction and correct your status and your nationality. Excuse me, sir, but what in the doohickey are you talking about i'm sure you and whoever's getting evicted did their status correction and proclaimed their morris nationality and yet here you guys are 
still getting evicted. So what in the doohickey are you talking about, sir? Because in Article 6 of the Rights of Indigenous People states that every man, every woman, every child has the right to a nationality. That means you can, you can separate yourself. You don't have to be part of a corporate entity that's commanding and demanding that you function and operate in their de facto illusionary reality. Because that's all it is. This is forced servitude. All right. This is extortion. This is harassment. All right. They pulling out all kind of contracts a few minutes ago trying to get them to sign off on these de facto contracts. You see, that's what they're trying to do. They refuse to because they want to reserve. They reserve their right, their substantive right, their inalienable rights, and also their uh, uh, apprehensive rights, which is the rights to be let alone. All right. So these documents, these documents has been recorded, all right, within the nation state of Morocco, putting all public servants on notice. All right. It's, it's not finalized. Yet. You know, this is this is what it looks like. Right, I gotta record it and put and make it public notice. You know what I'm saying for public scrutiny. I want y'all to scrutinize this. I want y'all to see what's going on because y'all see the transition. Y'all know who we are. Y'all know we home. You see, so these things need to be talked to and rectified. Right, so this is what time it is. Right, for us to do the right things. All right, all right. Islam, love and peace. I'm not trying to stay on this too long because it is a little, you know, overwhelming, if you will. Because we should have had our military present so that we can really, Islam, you know, take care of the situation according to law. All right, so with that being said, like, share, like, share, like, share, like, share. Like, uh, yeah, see, I, I had to get them too. But these are the ones that's carrying out the de facto orders. Yeah. See this? Don't worry because, see, they dealing with block and lot. We done made the, uh, uh, the claim through longitude and latitude air rights. All right? It's just a little difficult with them dealing with the transition. You know they don't want to give up the power so easily. They used to be in the boss. See what I'm saying? They used to be in the boss. But they realize that the edge is apparent now. And that those trans and those powers is being transitioned. What are the powers? The legislative powers, the judicial powers, and also the executive powers. Now let me show you the de facto models, marshals warrant that they put on the door. You see, all this is public notice. They don't know it's like 3,500 people watching this. That's how popular I am, all right? And they're gonna like shit. So everybody that's involved will be dealt with. Islam, love, and peace. All right, y'all see a marshal's legal. Where's the law at? Huh? Just because it says legal doesn't make it lawful, all right? Because legal and lawful is two different terms, all right? Then you're saying the civil court of the city of New York. That's connotative, all right? Civil court of the city of New York. Let's see if they have any public service names up here. Let's see. All right, look, the only one name is mentioned here is a de facto Henry Daly Marshall, the city of New York, all right? I want his food anyway, because he came to my estate. That's He's who, already noticed. Yeah, him? Definitely. Yeah, he was noticed All right. Do you know if there's anybody upstairs? Who are these documentations out there? nobody else. All right. See, look, city marshal. Docket numbers. Those are fraud. All right. Remember what the, what the term docket is an index, you know? When, you, when you're docking at the deck, you know, see... At the seashore, you docking, you receive your goods, you know, you're trying to, look, this, look what they did. This is all dealing with commerce, all right? You're absolutely right. This is all dealing with commerce. Commerce equals rent. Rent that you did not pay. So now they are evicting your Moorish behind. Point blank. Period. It's de facto. And once they leave, it's over. So this is public notice. Public scrutiny. 
and it's not over. You know, the battle is on, but the war isn't over. They won this round because, of, look, they're military. You see the force they come with? You see this? You know? Because you're not in possession. It's an illusion. So now, what's the next step? The next step is to lean everybody that's involved. Everybody like these like these characters up here, drilling locks. They all under contract. It's not they fought though. You see? It's not they fought. But, um, you have a job to change. Just tell her right here. Is that easy? Is, is like, uh, yeah, yeah. Where? Huh? Yeah, thank you. What happened? Get a wheel bag and move your money. Don't give it to them. They still have to bring it up. Oh, you took it out already? No. Oh. You did? The one is heavy. The one, the one I have in one in my room, but it's okay. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, my God. I got, I ain't got a dog. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Okay. Because it's only going to go into storage. You know That's that. okay. I can't. Mm. Yeah, but it's not going to go. No, that ain't it's good. It's okay. Uh, I'll help you. It's okay. Where Kali went? He, he went back inside. Where Kali went? I don't know. All right, Islam, love and peace. Okay, so the video ends there. And it is mind-blowing to me that in the face of an eviction, these more sovereign citizens still can't wake up. Morris science has got a strong hold on these people's brains. This guy was up here spewing all type of nonsense that would never help the situation. This is the end result of canceling all corporate contracts. They stopped paying their rent and now they're getting evicted. All of that, the heirs apparent and yada, yada, yada is all nonsense. Ladies and gentlemen, do not do Morris science. It will ruin your life. <laughs>